Hey what's up guys? You may already know that Huawei has officially revealed Harmony OS. Now if you are confused whether it's Hongmeng OS or Arc OS or Harmony OS, then worry not, they are all the same. CEO of Huawei's consumer business said Hongmeng is difficult to pronounce in English. Therefore, the English name Hongmeng of the OS will be translated using the word Harmony whose pronunciation is similar to Hongmeng. Now that's out of the way, let's know how Harmony OS will be a better alternative to Android. Harmony OS is micro kernel based and if you remember, Google is also working on one of its own OS based on micro kernel and that's Fuchsia OS. But the main difference among these two OS is Fuchsia uses a non-distributed design unlike the new Harmony OS which limits the deployment of OS in various devices. Huawei brings up that it is hard to deliver a smooth experience across different devices with a huge amount of code in Android and Linux core. And that is where Harmony OS shines. With a microkernel design, Harmony OS should be safer from the get-go as there is no root access available. The microkernel is protected by isolation from external kernel services. Yu Chengdong said, from the evaluation of the world's most authoritative security agencies, the external operating system can only reach level 2 and level 3. Our system can reach the level 5 and 5 plus. This is the highest level of OS security. Performance is theoretically better than Android and other Linux based operating system according to slides shared by Huawei. Huawei says that Harmony OS uses a distributed virtual bus with a simplified protocol. Rather than four layers, there is only one layer in the protocol stack to boost the payload efficiency. The effect of this change to simplify interactions are faster discovery and connections of hardware like displays, cameras, speakers, etc. Unlike Android which uses the Linux kernel scheduling mechanism, Harmony OS uses a deterministic latency engine that provides precise resource scheduling with real-time load analysis and forecasting and app characteristic matching. The result is a 25.7% and 55.6% improvement in response latency and latency fluctuations. In Harmony OS, developers can develop once and deploy across hardware. Huawei will be providing an IDE to support app developers across multiple device types, including televisions, car kits, smart speakers, smartphones, smartwatches, and more. This IDE automatically adapts to various screen layouts, controls, and interactions, and supports drag and drop operation and preview oriented visual programming. Harmony OS is not compatible with Android apps out of the box, confirms Richard Yu, CEO of Huawei Consumer Business Group. That means you won't be able to merely sideload an Android app of your choosing. In a press conference, Mr. Yu said that the app developers will have to make small changes to their app in order to compile them to run on Harmony OS. He states that it is very easy to transfer Android apps to Harmony OS. The Vision smart screen will be the first device running this OS. Finally, Huawei said that its new OS represents an entirely new generation of OS as it enables AI capabilities in different scenarios from PCs, tablets and other domains. Huawei said they will lay the foundation for Harmony OS in Chinese market first before expanding it to global market. Richard Yu said that Huawei can start using Harmony in smartphones at any time, but he said that the company is giving priority to Android right now. This means they are not going to ditch Android right now. So that's it guys for today. If you like the video then like, subscribe. See you next time. Peace out.